Oh yeah. Why is this? What is this heart shape? Huh? What's this heart? Why is this thing shaped like a heart? That looks weird. Is this intentional or no? I can't tell if this is intentional or not. But uh, okay. All right. Well, in any case, um, yeah, we got well three. We got the underwater world, which you know we can imagine. Which well, okay, well, no, don't imagine. But it's like, but yeah, world three is the water world. Lots of swimming. Yeah, if you have if you have the frog suit, you get fluent under you get fluent swim control underwater. But the only downside is it's piss poor control. It's like it's not barely anything, barely useful on land. It just kind of makes you slower. But you know, it, at least that gives. But at least it gives makes up for it by having fluid swimming controls. I mean, I guess frog suits are just scuba scuba gear. The Mario universe. All right, we got two flowers. Three more, two, one more, and I get three up. Okay. That's right. We got this here. We got here the um star gauntlet, I believe, where it's just like if you, it's like you get one star, and if you get to the next one in time, you get the, you get to have a, you get to continue it. Here I go, here I go! Yep. Here we go again! Again? Again? Alright, I think there is one more star over here too. But that's yeah, okay. We're at the end anyways. It was a nice, safe cruise. Dang it! One millisecond too late. I mean, I could rewind it, but you know what? No, I'm not gonna cheat the system any more than I already have. All right, card game. It's children's card game. Let's see if I remember where everything was. Then since we're over here, no, that's a 20. Get my numbers mixed up. Not to that. Okay, I had a feeling. That's usually where the one the one up usually is. 10 cents. Frick. All right, well, this one's a guaranteed frog suit. That one, I'm pos absolutely positive. Yep, guaranteed frog suit. What did I tell you? All right, here comes our, the most notorious enemy of the game. Boss Bass. Or is it a uh, cheap chump? Anyways, anyways, this thing here. It's, uh, it's pretty much the Mario equivalent to Jaws, basically. If it's gonna come right at you full speed of ahead, it's gonna eat you. But don't, but, but I'm for ready for you. I've got, I've got, I'm packing firepower to cook you into sushi. Enter. That was a short level, holy shit. I mean, I guess I should start actually exploring stuff. The fact that I'm cool. I'm zooming through these things, like, like I'm Sonic the Hedgehog. Alright, we got our castle. First castle. First fortress of World 3. Alright, which I believe is like a door gauntlet. Where basically, um, you go through, you have to find the right door to take you to the boss. I believe it's the sixth one. Yep. What did I tell you? I'm going the speed run route. Did he just reflect my fireball? Oh, I guess he has technical invincibility. Well, your invincibility ran out, so... Mwah. Get fucked. I'm going to speedrun level. Alright, now let's see the... Now, uh, let's see what the deal is with these hearts. Keep lining up the pictures for more prizes. It's your big chance to get a 7. Oh, interesting. Oh, they added a leaf here. Okay. It looks like a candle. It looks like a mushroom-shaped candle. Okay, so... Oh, and now that changed back to a regular... Regular spade. So I guess it's what? Only... Only a limited time only, I guess? Is that what it is? Interesting. 
I, I didn't know what to expect, honestly. That was my first time with this. It was like, what? It was like, what is? Why is this the heart-shaped one? Okay, we got a hammer here. I'm keeping that hammer for, for a special thing. Ouch! I got my taint bitten off by a plant. Just what I needed. But it isn't what you needed. Oh god. Oh my goodness. I can't get I cannot get used to the controls here. Because again, I'm just a Super Nintendo. Whee! Haha! <laughs> Goal! I kicked your thing. Alright, hang on. Let's see if I can get a, a one up. I don't think I timed it right. Oh well, I tried. Well, I tried. Good enough. Oh, wait, now you're now you're ready to go. Ready to play. Playing with power. Nintendo power. Open the box. Another frog suit. Wunderbar. Alright, let's Let's open the dirt here and get the prize. A lot of prizes here. Oh yeah, tail whip. Tail whip. All right, use tail whip. It's ultra effective. It's some. It's somewhat effective. Wrong button. That's right. Sailing away. Love it. Line up the pictures. Okay. All right, now everything's back to normal. The star has four eyes and two mouths. I call it an abomination. All right, just button mash. That seems to be the trick. Except it didn't work this time, unfortunately. <laughs> the mushroom's got extra eyes. It's a clairvoyant mushroom, is it not? All right, let's go at the middle. Another frog here. Oh goody. Four frog suits! Fine, I guess the next one I will use. I guess I think, I think level 5 is a underwater level, so I guess I'll use the frog suit then. Oh my god, seriously? Another frog suit? I don't need this many frog suits, guys! Just saying. Unless... Well, hang on, actually. If this is a guaranteed frog suit... Let's take a look. Okay, not a guaranteed frog suit. I was curious. Well, fine, good. I don't need as many frog suits anyway, like I said. I wasn't sure if this was a guaranteed, or if all these things had frog suits or not. All right, this one's just a regular mushroom. The red ones have rare items. The regular, this one has regular items. And sure enough, it's just a mushroom. All right, time to sail away to the to level five. Do, 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 do. I love this music. <laughs> Again, the game always had great music, mind you. All right, let's keep going. We got jellyfish. This thing is spitting out children at me. Ow. Okay. Ow. Okay. Cool. So it's not like the original where it's just like if you get hit a small, if you take up, if you use a fire flower, if you grab a fire flower as regular, a small mar, you become, it just acts as a mushroom. Which, you know, I never really understood. I mean, come on. You get a fire flower. If, it, if you're a mini Mario, you get a fire flower. Why can't it just become a fire flower? Instead, it just becomes a regular mushroom. Okay. I mean, I feel like I should just be exploring stuff. I'm sp I speed through these levels with... Oh, I didn't know there was a one up here. Gotcha! Come on! Big prizes! Damn it! One too late. Eh, it's all good. One is still... One is something. Oh, goody! How many times am I going to play this stupid card game? Well, I guess I shouldn't complain to this stupid card game. I'm getting free goodies anyways. Nope. Okay, I remember you. Alright. Mushroom there. 
Maybe I should just do this. Why not? Star! No! Okay. I'll get my buttons mixed up. Okay. There we go. Mushroom! Okay. Star! Damn! No! Um. Oh, okay, they were next to each other. I'm not used to it. Oh, all right, bye, bye, bye. Oh, and they were also next to each other, too. There we go. All right, there we go. I just wanted, I just wanted the things, that's all. All right, level six. Level six, let's go. And it's another squally level. Great. Oh, goody. Just what, I Just what I needed. Just what the doctor ordered. Just what the Dr. Mario ordered. <laughs> yeah, it's funny. Mario and Dr. Mario, they're different characters. Yet, some, yet somehow, they're, despite having the same persona, those two are definitely, in fact, different characters altogether. What's up with that? Well, then again, this is the same universe where Mario can actually play sports with his own baby self. I mean, that's even less, that's even more confusing than having Donkey Kong Jr. being in the same universe as regular Donkey Kong and um, Mario Tennis for the N64. I mean, like, what's, what's even more confusing is that is that it's like fully grown Donkey Kong, fully grown DK, is hugging small baby DK Jr. Who in actuality is actually supposed to be his father. Yeah. <laughs> Try wrapping your head around that. So it's like so it's like fully grown DK hugging a baby who turns out to be his father. Because yeah, the story is Cranky Kong is the is is the original is the original Donkey Kong. And then basically DK Jr. And then we got, and then we got regular Donkey Kong, who we know today as, as Cranky Son's grandson, which means DK Jr. is DK's father. Yeah, again, Donkey Kong lore. Remember how he used to be just like a, just, just a angry gorilla kidnapping Mario's girlfriend Pauline, or late just lady, I guess. Games were simpler back then. You didn't have to worry about lore. Whew, I thought that would have killed me, but it didn't. I'm still in it to win it. Oh yeah. Now then, here we go. World 7, which has a new enemy called Spikes. Well, uh, you know what? You, you, mind, you guys are minding your business. Uh, you guys have a good day then. All right, maybe I should start actually not speeding through these things. Maybe I should start trying to look for bonuses. Nope, nothing here. Oh wait, I do believe there was a vine of some sort. Yeah, found you. Let's see if I know my secrets. If I know my secrets. I hope I do, because I've been playing this game since child childhood. Or child birth. Okay, nothing here. Nothing on the ordinary here. Hee! Oh god. Ow! I got I got a spike ball taint. Don't touch it, it's not chocolate, Mario. Oh, that's embarrassing. <laughs> I tried to run I tried to run, run the spike ball and I got hit as a result. Okay, this one's a water castle, so time to break out the frog suits. Ribbit Ribbit. Let's hope Boom Boom doesn't croak. Woo! Look at me. So much fluent, uh, fluent underwater controls. Oh yeah. Makes navigating through this underwater labyrinth 
seems like a breeze. And it's gone. And it's gone. It's like, okay, we got the flat, we got the frog suit. We can navigate through this underwater castle with breeze, and it's gone. The frog suit's gone. It was taken by the bank owner of South Park. Two, and yes, Boom Boom gets wings. Guess he had some Red Bull before we faced off. Not that it mattered because I still win. Adios. Yes, save it the game. Let's -a go. Button mashing usually works. Ah, oh, all that build up for nothing. Oh boy, we got another Jaws esque level. You better watch out. Better not cry. I'm telling you why, because Mario's coming, because the Super Mario is coming to town. Oh yeah, just what I, yeah, you said Mario. You needed it, you definitely needed this one. It's our last line defense against the monstrous boss bass. Come here, come here, come here. I'm just gonna keep shooting fireballs like this. And if you get hit, it's all your fault. All right, the coast is clear. Let's go. Well, actually, maybe something over here? Anything over here? No, it's just a safety net. Well, great, I lost my fire flower for nothing. What's over here? Are these all? Are these vines just mean measures for me, means for safety? Ah, oh, uh, maybe this was not a good place to be in. Well, I got enough items. I, I got. I'm almost running low on inventory, so the time has come to start using these items to the full effect. Well, I was hoping for some secrets. That's right. Fire beats water. And the Koopa just turned around and was like, What you said? It's like, he's questioning the logic of it. He did not take kindly to that statement. And I paid the price. Time to pay the piper. And... Star! Fridge. I said fridge to say, instead of saying frick. Try not to swear too much. All right, whatever. This is the last card game. You know what? Let's go for full. Dang it. Okay. Star. Star. Okay, that was lucky. A star. Flower. Herald flower. Flower. Herald flower. The secret identity of Jay Bond. Okay. Star. Star. Mushroom. One up. Okay. Alright. Flower. Mushroom. There we go. Mushroom, mushroom. And next. And then. Ten coins. That's a 20. 20. Okay, I know where the 20 coins are now. Okie dokie. Ha ha! Ha ha ha! I've got you now! Cha-ching. Boy. Oh, looks like my inventory's full. Looks like it's time to start the clearance sale. Right here, right now. All right, we got here some bob -ums. I think this is the bob -um. Yes, it is. Well, no need to worry, because I'm not afraid of you. Oh, I can kill these things. And then, uh, items. Got item. All right. Nope. Nope, nope, nope. That's right. Cook a combo breaker. These are these are technically ice blocks, apparently. 
which I never really got, uh, which I, you know, the blue, which that, uh, which is weird because, you know, okay. I don't know why. I don't know what I'm saying anymore. But anyways, there we go. Got the mushroom. Because I'm doing the world three, and then I guess that's probably the end. It's been a long late night. Well, maybe I'll do world four, and then I'll call it a wrap. All right. Make a lot of progress right now. All right, World 3's castle. It's King Hippo from Punch-Out, apparently. But I don't remember King Hippo being purple. Or being an actual hippo. Like, who the hell is King... I mean, what the hell is King Hippo supposed to be? Like a literal guttural monster from Hippo Island? <laughs> There's the mysteries of Punch-Out. Who the hell is King Hippo? And why does a fighter like Great Tiger have magical powers? That should be illegal in Punch-Out. Aaron Ryan's at the actual- and Aaron Ryan being the actual cheater is allowed to do it. But I guess like maybe the rules of Punch-Out state this. If you- if long as you have boxing gloves, anything goes I guess. But um, sure. Alright, there. Yeah. As long as I'm up here, I should be safe and sound. Alright. Let's -a go. Here we go again. All right, if things go according to plan. Then maybe I will actually just maybe if I mean I've gotten I mean, it's been an hour of recording since since I started and I've already gone through worlds one, two, and three. So I was like, you know what? I'll do what I'll maybe I'll do four and four. Well, here we are up against Wendy Koopal, who, in my opinion, is definitely the hardest of the Koopalings here. Because the rings definitely kind of gimp you. And also the freaking jump. Oh my god, I actually beat her on the first try. Holy shit. <laughs> but yeah, in my opinion, Wendy Koopa is definitely the hardest of the Koopalings for me. Because the rings just like, just like a bug the hell out of me. Uh, I need a sip of water. Also, look, it's King Mario. Oh, splendid, splendid. I'm back to my old self again. Thank you so much for to saving my castle. Yeah, seriously, that king looks like Mario. Why? Greetings, you can stop on Ernie's Goomba's shoe. It's called Karibo's shoe. Perfect clear. Yes, I guess we'll do World 4, why not? 